A blockchain address is similar to a bank account for a crypto asset. It is one and only, created from a private key, and the private key holder is the owner of assets stored in the address. Basically, the address mentions a specific position on the network, which is a place for sending crypto assets or information. Towards the Cardano blockchain, the address not only contains information about the network and access spending rights, but also information on stake rights. This creates more differentiations compared to the address of other blockchain. But even when we are the private key holder of the address, do we actually control our stake rights of assets? The learning process to answer this question is quite interesting, and it can help you learn more about how Cardano builds the address on a blockchain network. Welcome to Whiteboard Cardano. Instead of watching drawn-out clips of Charles Hoskinson, hereby even your grandma can easily understand the Cardano blockchain knowledge with images, examples, and illustrations within a few minutes. One topic per week. Today, in the company of our friend V Coincheck, let's discover the topic today. The topic that we're gonna find out about today is how a special address format on the Cardano blockchain work. And the special address mentioned here is the Franken address. In a video we made about the Cardano address Shelly address format, an address will include two parts, payment part and delegation part. We can create many different payment addresses from a Cardano wallet. These receive or send addresses use the same delegation part to stake. In another way, there is only one stake key and the user has a right to stake the asset from all the payment addresses associated with that wallet. However, we can create an address that the owner of the payment part collaborates with the delegation part of the other one. For example, address A consists of payment part A and delegation part A. Address B consists of payment part B and delegation part B. And we can continue payment part A with delegation part B. Such address is called the Franken address. Pretty sure that you will wonder about the reason why is there any way that it is an error in programming the address of the Cardano blockchain. The truth is that there is no such error in programming. This is a feature in the mechanism of the Cardano address, allowing us to create a hybrid address. Towards Franken address, some developers can take advantage of delegation right to receive the reward or have the user maintain a stake right while the money is locked in the smart contract of the app. For example, a person sends 1000 ADA in a smart contract with a hybrid address contains a stake key of the user and minting 300 IUSD. The transaction information is recorded as written here. With the first address as a send address is stake 01ABC minus 1000 ADA, then the receive address here is written as stake 01ABC plus 300 IUSD, staking control plus 1000 ADA. If the asset locked in the smart contract got liquidated, the balance will also disappear. Besides, the Franken address can be used as a way to keep secrecy of assets in a wallet. Any user can create a hybrid address to send the money without exposing their main address by transferring the money to the hybrid address containing the payment part and staking part belonging to another wallet. In some cases, the users also need to be careful when receiving payment from other wallets due to the Franken address. Well, if there are pros, there are cons. Let's take a look at this example. Alice transfers 1000 ADA to the payment address that Bob provided. Since anybody can create a Franken address, Alice uses the payment part of Bob combining with the delegation part of Alice to create the hybrid address and send 1000 ADA to this hybrid address. Bob will receive 1000 ADA and he has a right to spend his money, but Alice is a person to choose the stake pool and gain the reward from staking that 1000 ADA. This keeps happening until Bob figure out the asset he received wasn't contributed to his staking balance or until he spent ADA from his wallet in a transaction. To take back a stake right, Bob simply needs to transfer all the asset back to his correct address. Another thing, be careful when carrying out any transaction on the centralized exchange. They can take advantage of this hybrid address feature of Cardano Wallet to take over the stake right of the user when executing asset swaps. In this story, for instance, Alice needs to swap 100 ADA into the Wing Rider token. Bob needs to swap 200 token Wing Rider into 100 ADA. And we have another guy here, Jack the Exploiter, the middleman on the exchange, benefits from this feature and creates a transaction contract. Well, things happen. Those tokens will be sent to the hybrid address containing the delegation part of Jack for him to take over the stake right. As unique and more complex as it is compared to the other network, 
This address of the Cardano blockchain brings several uses of the address but at the same time requires a user to take more caution when receiving or spending ADA on the network. The act of introducing a feature that allows for the creation of hybrid address in the Cardano wallet has diversified the delegation and payment mechanism within Cardano. Additionally, to protect user rights and prevent potential issues stemming from unforeseen wallet operations, developers also need to have a clear understanding of address mechanism and carefully manage addresses to optimize wallet security through bytecode analysis of the header, payment, and delegation. If you are interested, please like and subscribe, then click on the subscribe bell to receive the latest video. Please comment your opinions and questions under the video. We will try to explain and answer them in the most understandable way. Thank you and see you next time.